Detroit game, which uh, seems to always be brought up these days, you have made the comment that at the end of streaks, the beginning of streaks, sometimes you're playing well, you're not winning games. And on the other side, sometimes you're winning games that maybe you shouldn't be winning. Uh, over the you know, last two weeks, is, is that something that you're seeing being put in, into practice with this team right now? I think we're definitely playing better hockey, um, both individually and collectively. Um, you know, our, we're starting to score more goals, and that's a result of ultimately playing better defense. Um, you know, last night I thought we were really good in the defensive zone. Um, didn't give up. Um, a lot of their chances came on the power play, which is something we need to shore up on the PP or PK. But um, I thought we limited their time and space, especially their their key guys. The team has had very good possession recently. The team has been getting good scoring chances, but for some reason there haven't been a ton of power plays with this team. Is that a coincidence, or is there something that you can pinpoint to you know, that it's going against that? I think it's kind of how it goes sometimes. I mean, there's probably, um, you know, games where uh, I think it was Edmonton, it was, you know, a lot of power play and penalty kill, and just how the game goes sometimes. You are lying. Again, lots of lots of offensive zone time. The cycle it looks like it's there. Is is that the level of play that you would like to see? Is that there right now from from your line? Uh, yeah, I think it's the key thing for us is the consistency, shift after shift. Um, we're starting to get that offensive cycle game going, and um, we're also um, starting to get a few more rush chances. And again, that comes back to our D zone play and, and eliminating um, chances and pressuring them right away, not allowing them to really get any zone time. Um, it's a frustrating, you know, and being on the other side when a team takes your zone time away, and you always seem like you're back checking. That's what I think last night especially we had a, a lot of those um, in and outs where we're back in our D zone for maybe five, six seconds and get the puck turned over and go the other way. The uh physical game yesterday, especially in that first period, too. I mean, is that something that is generally what you, what you get against Anaheim, or is this, is this, was this a new look that you've been seeing from the Ducks so far this season? Uh, I mean, they're a big physical team, but I think that's generally what you get when we, you play us. I mean, we're that's what makes us a successful team from top to bottom. We have big guys that can bang um, on every line, and you when we're on top of our game, it's a grind and physical game for, for the opponent. And in turn, I mean, we're, we're okay playing that way. Dustin, what do, you, what do you think about the play of the, not just, you know, the young guys, but as a whole, the defensive core you have? I mean, you're without Alec, you're without Willie, you're without Matt, and yet goals against are pretty reasonable. You, you know, had a pretty hot streak here. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, with uh, Keats coming in and Muzz um, I think they're getting more comfortable uh, especially Muzz being a younger a guy with not a lot of NHL experience he's starting to be, I think get a little more comfortable um, in the system and in how we play the game um, and you know the other you know Scud, Slava and Dewey are you know staples of the back end regardless they're and, young guys too yeah but I mean I mean, they've been, uh, Dewey's been around for five years. Scuds has been, you know, a backbone of our team for a while on the back end. And it always helps to have those guys kind of push the, the younger guys, the newer guys along. And, you know, it's an opportunity for Muzz to, you know, step in and he's done a good job. Speaking of Muzz, you said he's feeling, he's feeling more comfortable. It does show, but is there anything else you can pinpoint that's uh, that he's improved upon since since the first game of the season? Um, I think he's getting himself in better position quicker. Um, the first couple weeks of the year, um, the speed of the game. Um, you know, he's making better plays now, but I think it's a result of getting in position quicker and giving him an extra half second to make that play. I mean, that's just kind of something you got to get used to is the, the pace of the game is a little bit quicker than, than the AHL. And getting back for pucks, for Ds, you know, if you get back quicker, it's much harder to, you know, um, as a four checker to, to get on the guy, and he's starting to do a better job of that. 
you ever scored a goal where it bounced outside the goal line and then skidded in? Um, yeah, I saw shot. the replay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen it happen. I've, I mean, I've never scored a goal like that, so um, sometimes it bounced the right way. But you absolutely ripped that shot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, it was a one on one, and, you know, try to use the D as a screen. You know, that's, um, you know, something we, I work on. Just shooting through the D is probably one of the harder. If you can do it right, it's a hard save for the goalie from our whatever distance. Are you trying to go through the D-man's legs or just, just, just anywhere? Just by him, by him. I mean, I think it was Fowler. He kind of went down on one knee, so it was just yeah. shooting it by him. Sometimes you shoot it through him. You just try to find a hole where it makes it tricky okay. for the, the, the goalie to pick it up. There's so many, <laughs> such a great emphasis now on blocking shots anyway. Like, yeah, it's pretty hard to get your shot through on a... On, five on five, it's uh, consistent basis, um, you know, especially in zone play. There's five guys trying to block a shot. So you, you've never scored a goal quite like that with, on any, at any level, or even the cross. I don't, I don't know if I could shoot the puck that hard when I was ten, but I'm sure, I'm sure I've gone bar down before. But <laughs> got some top spin on it. Looks like it just yeah, rolled. Right. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, English. It's funny to watch it on the replay because you know, first time. Yeah. And then you see the replay. And go, yeah, it did. It well, it's. Uh, I think it was a few years ago here. Uh, I think a Ginla had a shot and quick. He made a stick save and it hit the ice. It was going forward. It hit the ice and bounced out the just the angle of the ice. It hit the ice and went the other direction. It went out the other way. Is the. Uh, it looked like there was almost like a pane. Of, yeah, it was almost like a pane of glass in there. Like it's the edge of the puck. It hits yeah. the ice and yeah. the torque. There's no spin. No, no. The spin would not affect the puck like that.